everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm going thrifting today. My mom and I decided we're gonna go thrifting. We haven't had a mom daughter outing in quite a long time. Um, she wants some new clothing. I'm just going for the fun of it. Don't know if I'll find anything, who knows. Never have expectations when you go thrifting. So that is the, the mindset, but I'm hoping to help her find a few things. Anyway, we're gonna get going and you're gonna come along. Let's go. Fit. So we're just about to drive to a little place called Halstead. It's it's got about five charity stores they're very very good charity stores they're not very big but they're very very good i'm very excited my mom doesn't know what she wants or what she's getting but i'm trying to, to tell her to avoid going to the books this time and actually pick out some clothing because she always gravitates towards the books which i do as well but this time clothing i always love the flowers here they're so pretty <laughs> How do she look at books? Look at this, it's so cute. Halstead's considered the what? The prettiest um, flower arrangements. I don't know, but to me it looks like it was a church, but who knows. It's very pretty. I like the blue clock. Just a bit of colour. <laughs> look at the pretty flowers. What an antique center. Oh, nice, let's go. The thrifting when antiquing. Mm. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what the frog? Oh, an uh, ashtray. <laughs> oh. Did anybody's grandparents or parents have that? Old cameras. Old books. Anybody need a ship's wheel? old scales. Wow, that's pretty. Marble, that's beautiful. I normally find a lot of these things in the um, stately homes because obviously they keep all these things to make it look authentic. And... <laughs> cute, that is very cute. Nana's got a lot of these, of those trinkety things. Matthew Mark. This weird chair. Very futuristic chair. Oh, and that one. I like that one. That looks comfortable. And this interesting looking cutlery. You know. Yeah, that's a nice idea. Although the stand's probably not for sale. No. Those things have never got a price tag on it. Oh, mirror. We have one of these, but handmade. This is a wonderful idea. So I'm just in the restroom of this cafe that we're in, but they have this beautiful mirror. They're so pretty. Wow. What follows is a brief construction montage.
We hope you enjoyed this brief construction montage. Get new toy. Did you get a new toy? No, this is it. <laughs> My shame. <laughs> I just wanted to get out of my day clothes and back into some comfy things. I love getting all dressed up to go out and shop, do all those things, but my favorite clothing is anything that's comfortable and that I can sleep in. <laughs> so pajamas all the way. We went to Halstead, such a pretty place to go and shop. Good charity stores, thrift stores. And then we came back to where we live, went into town and we grabbed some food, went into some other charity stores. We did about eight charity stores all together. Some of them we didn't buy anything, some of them we did. Let me show you what I got. I'll start with this cute little, this cute little bag. It's kind of useless because it's very small. It basically only fits my wallet. Schmintz because you never know when the breath be stinky. Some Vaseline, but oh my God, it's so cute. I love the handle. Such a nice way of reusing marbles. I think if I if I had marbles in my house and I had a way to drill a hole into it, I mean, I probably have a drill somewhere, like a small one, but this is such a great idea. It comes with a chain. This was originally from Zara. You can actually see the, the tag on the inside it's there. This was marketed in retail price. This bag is not worth that's like a charity store. <laughs> this bag is not worth 40 pounds. I'm sorry, Zara, but it's not worth 40 pounds. We got this for 15 and actually even 15, it's a bit much. I would not pay 40 pounds for this little bag. It's beautiful. Like it's very cute, very sturdy, can't hold very much, but I would not pay 40 pounds, even 15. I questioned before buying it and my mom was like, oh, just get it. You have to get it. You have to get it. So my mom, she got it for me. We're going to share it because it's quite a nice bag to take out on it like a date if you just need like a few things. My mom got a bunch of things as well, which I was very proud of because normally when we have our mom and daughter days out, she doesn't buy anything and it always makes me sad. I'm like, mom, she ends up buying books. Moving into the clothing, I was actually very lucky this time. When I do go thrifting, I never find anything that I like. This time I managed to get a whole bunch of pieces of new clothing so my wardrobe is going to be a little bit more varied because I know it's been very boring. It's very samey when I make my videos but I got this dress. You did see this one on in store. Very cute. The only problem with being four foot ten is there's not a lot that fits me. Uh, then again maybe I shouldn't complain. It fits me I just need to take it up which is gonna be like a whole day thing of me just taking up clothing that I bought. That's normal. I'll show you what my mum got. She got two books. Fall of Giants Winter of the World by Ken Follett and she got Barbara Erskine, the Warrior's Princess shirt. So she got those and then she also got this nice little top with dragonflies on it. A little bow. I'm proud of her. She never normally buys clothing. She saw this and I was like, you have to get that because the color will look so nice on you. A purple stripey purple top. So I did get a DVD. Normally when I do go to Echo and charity stores in general, I always look at the DVDs because I do have a DVD collection. No matter if I have Netflix or Amazon, I'll always have a DVD collection. Because sometimes you can't find what you're looking for and you just you really are craving to watch one specific film. It's not on Amazon or you have to pay for it. So I always have a DVD collection. So I got Death Becomes Her. It's one of my favorite movies ever. Meryl Streep and Goldie Hawn kill it in this movie and it's hilarious and it's great and it's Bruce Willis as well but this was like 50p so couldn't say no. I also got this yellow top. This is meant to go around the waist and then tie at the back I think. Yes, sure, maybe. But it's from Bershka. So I'll try it on, I'll style it, see if I still want it. If not, I mean it was only a pound. And then I got this Barbie pink dress that you did see me try on. However, it does need tailoring. It's a small, it needs to be an extra small on me. I saw this dress and I fell in love with it. I love the color, the design on it and the way it sits. But again, it's a size, it's a medium and it's just a bit big, but I have a way of sewing it that'll fit me and yeah, it works. Sometimes I, I feel like I can't justify saying no to something when it's so cheap and I know I can fix it. Cause I know if I would buy that in retail, it would probably cost like 10 pounds, where I, whereas I got it for like two. So I can fix it and make it work for myself. And then this, I was, I have been looking for a white dress for a long time, something to wear on dates or to, I don't know, just events because I've, I w I've got a lot of black dresses, but not a lot of white ones. And I really wanted something that was pretty and flattering on me. And white doesn't always look flattering. I will say that white does not always look flattering. Black 
is always a nice go-to because it's slimming and you can't beat a little black dress like i found this and it's got a corset boning situation in the middle so it cinches in my waist again i need to take it up it's a bit too long the other thing i'm considering doing is putting a slip on the inside or buying a slip to wear underneath it it is a bit see-through it very much is giving sheen but oh no it's from zara once again, another item from Zara. It doesn't tell me what the retail price was. Because the charity store price was like three pounds, it was nothing. But yeah, so it's a little bit see-through. I can fix that with a slip. And then my mom also got this little number. It's a top. She also got some two more books. Susan Lewis, No Child of Mine. Yeah. And another Ken Follett, Fallen, Fall of Giants. The Pillars of the Earth, Fall of giants. Oh my god, I can't speak today. There is those. That is all my mum stuff. Now this is all the non-charity store stuff. This is just refillers of moisturizers and stuff of that nature. So we've got a store here called Savers. Recently I discovered a moisturizer that has the identical ingredients to the CeraVe moisturizer that I've been using, but for a fraction of the price. So the price that I pay for the CeraVe moisturizer is about 15 something. This is the exact same. Aquas cream Aquas, Aquas. <laughs> from XVC to relieve dry skin, soothes, softens, and moisturizes, fragrance free and lanolin free. It's a pound. You heard me correctly. I'm saving 14 quid. We also got a little mug from a charity store for my nana who loves just a small cup of tea. So this is just up her alley. I also got some more hair scrunchy things because I am forever losing these things and they start to lose their el elasticity after a while. I have the ones that I have are just they have zero elasticity. I also got some dermaplaning, some shavers, star face hydro uh, star patches with salicylic acid because I've been struggling with my skin and I found these to be really good. I, I'm trying out this new hair removal cream B by Superdrug. So it's the Superdrug brand. It's got argan oil in it so it's soothing. And then last but not least, just some clear nail varnish remover. And that is pretty much everything that I did buy. I will do a small little try on. We did a lot of shopping today. We did a lot of, wa oh, that's also what we got. I bought a watermelon because I, I live for watermelon. Oh, and Takis. I love Takis. So. You serious? But yeah, that's pretty much everything that we bought and the watermelon and some fruit. And we went to a restaurant called Mosaic, best food. But anyway, let me give you a little Try on haul, try on. I'm, I'm being annoying, sorry. <laughs> so we're gonna try on the yellow top first so I can actually see if you really like it. I like the color, that's what attracted me to it. It's this very light yellow. Oh, I I think it's meant to be like this. Oh wait, wait, I, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. Maybe if I pair it with some shorts or some jeans. I don't know. Also, I don't know how, how I feel about this tank toppy type situation. This may have been a bad purchase for a pound. I'm not gonna say no. I associate this color pink with Barbie. I don't know how I feel about this because it's so, well, for one, it's super wrinkly. I need to like steam it or something. And it's very big on me, a bit long for one. If I cinch it in a little bit, it changes a little bit. It definitely needs to sit higher. But yeah, I definitely think if it was just a little bit tighter, I feel um, frumpy in it and I feel like I'm wearing a nightgown. I believe I actually saw this dress in Zara like a year ago, so it is like last year's stuff. But it, it really gives um, <laughs> bride. This is the after party dress. If I take it up just ever so slightly, it'd be even better. And I kind of have the perfect shoes for it. <sighs> I can't breathe. I've had a lot of watermelon and I can't breathe. I think I could make it work on a night out. So this is the dress that I saw that I fell in love with because I just, I like this pattern. It's it's very pretty. It is a little bit big. Like it's not very, it's just like, but if it just was a little bit tighter, it'd be a little bit better. It doesn't even have to, I don't even have to take it up. I just need it to be a little bit tighter. I just like how flowy it is. Anyway, <laughs> I actually really like this dress. I don't like this bow thing, but I figure it would look okay like this, or I could even just, tuck it in and it's gone and then it does have straps not straps sleeves but i don't really like where the sleeves sit it is that type of sleeve but i actually prefer the dress without the sleeves i think it looks quite cute it stays up got elastic in the middle so that's nice and again it's so flowy i can move i can dance in it hi <laughs> uh, this is my favorite 
favorite purchase. And that is everything I got from all the charity stores that I went to today. We haven't had a shopping day in such a long time, so it was really nice to get out with my mom and go out and do stuff and go and shop. Had lunch together and chatted and charity stores are pretty much my favorite thing. I like being able to go and just scavenge. And charity shopping is a lot more fun. Thank you so much for sticking around if you did. I hope you guys have a lovely day and I shall see you in the next one. Bye.